This year, a budget deficit in Cuyahoga County led to millions in cuts. The county council wants a raise, and starting in 2019, they're going to get it. News Channel 5 took a deeper look at the massive pay raises just passed by a vote of 7 to 4. Megan Hickey breaks down the numbers and asks tough questions of the members who voted to raise their future salaries in tonight's Five on Your Side investigation. A county commissioner in handcuffs. I'm not an angel, but I'm no crook. But a jury said he was, and it meant a whole new government in Cuyahoga County. Three commissioners replaced. In came 11 county council members. And where did we look for inspiration? Here in Pittsburgh's Allegheny County. Their council members make $9,000 a year. But what about here? How about $45,000 for the same part-time job in Cuyahoga County? If you're simply going to elect people that are there for the paycheck and a pension and, and or for the power or whatever, uh, it's not going to work any better than your old form of government. That's one of those executives in Allegheny County giving us a warning. Five years later, our county faced a potential $27 million deficit. This year, Metro Health took a $7 million hit. Crucial updates to the county's jail had to be put off, and the county threatened to cut $6 million to the Mental Health and Addiction Board. But even while seeking to save every penny, the county council voted for something surprising last week. A huge pay raise by more than 15% to $52,000 by the year 2019. Under financial hardship, how do you give yourself raises? A staggering five and a half times more than that council back in Allegheny. They're a smaller county. Uh, we're probably more comparable in size to the state legislators. That's Council Vice President Purnell Jones. He voted for the raise. And he's right. Cuyahoga is bigger by 2.5% in population. And our budget is about 30% larger. Even though it's called part-time, this is a $1.3 billion budget, and we're not a small municipal uh, government. The argument is somewhat weak, and politically it's certainly unpalatable. That was the reason members like Dave Greenspan voted against the raise. This legislation, I think, maybe became a little premature in my mind. Too soon for some, but the seven who voted for the raise say the part-time job has become a full-time responsibility. Take, for instance, Council President Dan Brady. This is his main job, and he told me he works 30 hours a week, which means he'd bring home $33 an hour by 2019. That's $9,000 a year more than the average household income in the county he serves. Greenspan, who's also the CEO of a consulting firm, told me he clocks 40 to 60 hours a week, going above and beyond his obligations, doing many things that aren't even in the job description. And then there's this. The raise won't take effect until the next term. So Jones says he's not even voting for his own raise. So you do plan to, to run again for that term, though? If the people have me, I certainly will be running. So it, mm -hmm. then you will get the pay raise, right? Oh, yes. Megan Hickey, News Channel 5. Allegheny's county executive told News Channel 5 that the council has been successful and productive on a $9,000 salary. Although he said a raise is probably in order to account for inflation, he suggested a salary in the $20,000 range.